Launch the app that supports split screen for an and then you can see the icon of the app. Hey guys, I'm Abil back again with another video. This time it is about three questions that have been asking me. So I have selected three very common questions and I'm going to address in this video. So keep asking this kind of questions because it really helps me to make more videos and to learn new things. I'm really grateful to you guys, those who are asking. So keep doing it. So as I said, three questions. The very first question is how to use split screen option or the feature on Nokia 6.1 Plus after the Pi update. And that can be done on any other stock Android phones you know, running on Android Pi. So one of my viewers, Vinay, has just asked me about this recently. So Vinay, if you're watching this video, thanks and keep doing this. Next question is how to remove this Google bar. And you can see that uh, on my home screen, there is no Google bar, right? So one of my viewers, uh, Suresh, has asked me this. So Suresh, if you're watching this video, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Next one is actually, it is one of the features that we have already gone through. And the feature is how to log the screen or how to log the phone without this power button. So I have shown you one option that was by using this accessibility menu, right? So one of my viewers, GPT, has faced one issue. The issue is that he's facing battery drain. So GPT, no worries, there is another option to do the same thing. So in this video, I'll be addressing these three things and I'll be showing you how to do this. So let's get started. And before that, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And those who have already subscribed, a big, big thank you to all of you guys. Let's get started. So let's start with the first question, how to use split screen. It's very simple. All you have to do, launch the app that supports split screen, for an example, YouTube. Now launching the app, you just have to swipe up like this. Go to this preview mode and then you can see the icon of the app at the, at the top. All you have to do, tap there and you can see the option split screen. Tap there again. So now you can see that it has entered into this, you know, split screen mode. All you have to do now, suppose if you want to open other apps, touch there. So now you can see that Play Store and the YouTube app both are running simultaneously. That means both of them are running on split screen. And if you rotate the screen like this, so then it becomes better. Now you can watch videos, you know, this side and you can access other things at this side. Okay, so this is how this split screen works. Now if you want to close any particular app now, swipe it up again and close it like this. If you drag it down like this, then you can go to that mode that is full view mode again. So it's very simple guys. All you have to do, swipe up like this, tap on the icon and split screen. Okay, then whatever, you know, apps that you want to launch, launch after that. For example, Gmail, right? So Gmail also supports split screen. So it will open like this. If the app doesn't support split screen then it will not work now for an example i'm showing you netflix okay so after launching the app if i swipe it up okay like this so it will show the icon but it will not show the split screen option why because at present this app doesn't support split screen so i believe it's very simple just suppose launch the app okay swipe it up touch the icon split screen so i believe that it's very simple so now you can use the feature i believe so that's it guys now the next thing how to remove this google bar right and how to lock the screen without the power button okay or without this accessibility menu now you can do it all you have to do you have to launch one third party launcher that is Nova launcher for that what do you have to do go to play store then search the app Nova launcher and install it i have already installed it so i don't have to do it again so what do you have to do after launching you know after installing the app you just have to go to setting okay there 
go to apps and notifications then scroll down at the bottom you can see advanced tap there and there is the option default apps all you have to do you can see that home app right so you have to set nova launcher as your default home app so for for that what you have to do tap here and then select nova launcher okay so here you can see that now it has been activated so the reason that i'm asking you to do this that if you you know set it as default then it works better and it works seamlessly no problem but now still you can see that the google bar is there right but the thing is that you can remove it just tap it remove it so it's gone now right so this is how you can remove the google bar so you just have to launch nova launcher now next question how to lock the screen or the phone without the power button right or without this accessibility that is also very simple all you have to do tap on the home screen then you can go to this widgets there you will find this option nova action tap and hold for a moment there you will get these options screen lock tap on it okay then you will get this tiny widget here you just have to place it wherever you want okay as per your convenience right now you can tap it and the screen will be locked simple guys all you have to do now suppose open tap it so it's locked you don't have to use power button or you don't have to use this option also right so i believe that you have got your answers guys now you can use these features and another thing that i would like to tell you that these uh, this novel launcher has other cool features like you know uh, now you don't have to swipe twice like this to go to you know the app drawer what, what you can do just tap here and you can get this another feature is that if you search here then you can get these three options recent apps new updated recent frequent right so this is also something that is useful so you can use it so i believe that you have got your answers and uh, you've liked this video so if you've liked this video then do hit the subscribe button hit the like button also and share with your friends and help me to build my channel so till the next video cheers guys and always cheers guys thanks see you in the next video